Hey guys, welcome back for part two of the uh, 24 foot center console infinity liner extravaganza. Um, as you can see behind me, yesterday where we ended up was we had everything masked off, ready to start spraying some uh, infinity liner today. The first order of business this morning is I got to get that false keel that I built with the uh, marine epoxy. Uh, I got to get it sanded down. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to wipe the whole belly with uh, acetone. And then I'm going to, it's already been pre-sanded. He already sanded the whole boat. Um, so there's a couple of areas that I'm going to touch up. And then I'm going to go ahead and acetone the whole belly. And then we're just going to... I'm going to hit it with the adhesion promoter, uh, the infinity adhesion, adhesion promoter. And then uh, after that, we'll start spraying some ice blue, all grip colored um, infinity liner. So let's get to it. All right. So had to make a little station to work and mix today. Um, as you see, the keel is looking good but I got to get it sanded down. So I'm going to go ahead and take a lot of that uh, roughness out. I'm not going to get it perfect. It's the belly of the boat. And then I'm just going to move on forward pretty fast. So I'll be back and show you what's going on uh, after I get a couple of those steps taken care of. So I'll be right back. All right. I got the false keel sanded. You'll notice I didn't try to get rid of all of the texture. I think it adds a little bit of character. I do not believe that any of that, in fact, I've never heard of any issues of all the times that I've done a belly of a boat or even this false keel. Many, many times I've done this false keel. Nobody's ever reported any kind of um, mile, per, mile per gallon drop. They haven't reported any speed decrease, none of that. So we're not adding any uh, friction. Um, or drag per se when we're adding this even leaving a little bit of texture there um, But also as we do the belly, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna apply infinity liner uh, Almost flat just a little bit of texture on the bottom and we're gonna go heavier on the texture on the uh, on the deck parts So I got everything sanded down just knocked all the burrs and that kind of thing smoothed it out a little bit with uh, 80 grit and Now it's ready to get prepped uh, and I'll start spraying. So uh, I gotta put down some drop cloths so I don't damage this guy's concrete. And uh, so once I've done that and I get everything wiped down, hit it with the adhesion promoter and then I'll start spraying. So I'll bring you back when I've got everything prepped and uh, I'm about to spray. All right guys, so I got my gun ready. I'm about to filter my mix. And so basically I've got the uh, infinity liner uh, and the tent and I have a little bit of medium reducer in there and it has the hardener in there. So everything's blended up. Now I just need to strain it and then I'll start doing some testing over here. So I'll bring you back when I've got something done. All right guys, I have officially sprayed one solid coat of the ice blue. You can't really tell in here that it's ice blue, but it, I've got a whole gallon on this so far. Um, that false keel, you can see that you can still see the character marks the owner actually likes that so we're gonna leave it um, almost done I got to put another coat on the belly there and then I got to do I'm gonna do the top rails right here all the way around with the ice blue and the uh, smooth texture you notice how smooth that is it looks really awesome um, nice even coverage like I said I'm gonna do another gallon under here
but that is the ice blue and I'm gonna have to do all of these parts and that console as well as that console and the gunnels now what I'm gonna do is the cool part about the infinity liner is I can actually I can vary the texture quite dramatically so I can give you that almost smooth texture you see underneath okay almost smooth it's grainy for sure it's like having you know just a rougher surface than smooth but it is not a heavily texturized surface like uh, traditional liner um, finishes are and so I've got Got a gallon left to spray on the belly, and then we're gonna come in here with the regular um, liner gun, and I'm gonna shoot the gunnels with the texture. Um, I'm gonna try to use the HPLV gun to shoot unreduced infinity liner uh, out of it, and see if I can coat the consoles with just a thicker texture than this, but not full-blown texture. So that's the plan. All right, I gotta go ahead and uh, mix up some more liner and get back to work. I started doing this top rail in the front, but I don't really have a lot of room, so I gotta figure that out right now. But that's the plan, and I'll be back to show you more once I get more done, but it is coming out awesome so far. All right, guys, this is the final Part of day two, I got the center console all coated. There's a couple of areas where the fiberglass is exposed that we don't love. So the owner's gonna get in here and try to straighten that a little bit. And then I'm just gonna spray a little bit more on the center console, but we went with a smoother texture on the center console because this is kind of where you're going to spend a lot of the time and you don't want if you're leaning against it or whatever you don't want to start feeling like it's irritating your skin or a little bit too rough so we went with a smoother texture this is actually in between what i did on the belly and what we're going to do on the floor um, we also well i'll show you when i get down but we went ahead and did that other console with the heavy texture um, I did this whole edge. I just pulled the tape in the ice blue. So we did a medium texture on the full edge. I ran out of tint. I just called and ordered more. I still have to do the ice blue on the gunnels. And then we're going to do whisper gray on the whole surround there and on the floor. So it's going to look awesome. I'm, I'm excited for you guys to see the uh, finished product. I'm probably gonna spray a little bit more on this console regardless, just because I see a couple of areas that I want to look more uniform. So it's coming along. Now, let's get down and check out the belly. So, see the edge looks super awesome. All right, I got semi-flat and get a little light where I can show you guys. See how, I don't know if you can tell how non-texturized this is, but got that super awesome, strong, false keel there. I mean, I layered and layered and layered the marine epoxy Made it super strong. He put a couple layers of 1708 underneath it to make it strong. So the belly looks good. There's a couple of areas where there were stands that we moved. So this one's currently holding it up. I actually sprayed under there. But when I come back for part three, I've got to just tape up the hull and then I'm going to hit that section there's a section up front right there 
and then this section here but looks awesome so super smooth texture compared to texturized undercoating or liner spray whatever where you see now uh, we went with a more texturized coating for uh, more texturized finished for this console you can see the dramatic difference between that texture and that texture so and then like I said this right here is in between that and that so Also did a couple of parts. Those look nice. I've got to do those plates, the sections underneath, and the gunnels. If I hadn't run out of paint, I'd be doing the rest of it now. All right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching these videos. It's time for me to get out of here. Uh, I gotta pick up more paint to finish this thing. The next day we're here will be part three. And I'm gonna basically just jump right in on getting the gunnel straight, getting another coat on that center console. And then uh, we'll start, we'll basically clean everything up, clean the guns out. And then I'll tape everything up the gunnels and that kind of thing and we'll shoot the floor and um, the top rail with the Whisper Gray uh, Infinity Liner. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys taking the time. If you need detailing products, my other company is DetailJuice.com. This is Gary Dean with Infinity Marine Works and this has been part two of the 24 foot boat. Basically full Infinity Liner restoration extravaganza so thanks for watching guys and taking the time to listen to me babble have a great day and stay tuned for part three